Schools across the state will begin opening their doors in the next two weeks. And tonight we're learning more about what the classroom will look like. News specialist Matt Rascone has more on the guidelines released today by the state health department. Matt? Yeah, Dini, last school year it was a booklet, 100 plus pages full of rules and guidelines. This school year, it boils down to a handful of recommendations aimed at minimizing the amount of disruptions students face this school year. Weeks out from the start of a new school year. If we didn't have the Delta variant, maybe things would be different. COVID cases are up, vaccinations are available, and the Utah Department of Health has new recommendations for returning to the classroom. It minimizes those disruptions that we saw last year that nobody wants to go through again. At the top of the list of 10 is encouraging everyone 12 and up to get a vaccine and wear a mask indoors. We have a way for especially kids in junior highs and high schools to not have their lives disrupted. Jenny Johnson says decisions about how to handle exposure to COVID will now be left up to local health departments and school districts. One district maybe doing something totally different than a neighboring school district. We are worried about the, the lack of clarity of direction that we are getting. The Utah Education Association hopes they will follow the science. Clock's ticking, school's starting soon, and we need to be able to know that the recommendations of the medical experts are not impeded by any legislation. Circumstances have changed, but COVID remains, and the health department says vaccines and masks are still the best way to get through another school year. Local health departments and school districts we talked to today said they saw those recommendations for the first time today, so they'll now be determining how to use those then in those local areas.